Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? We are back with our final, at least for now, box of the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness hobby boxes from Upper Deck. These we purchased at Steel City, so if you want to check them out, I'll put a link down below to Steel City Collectibles. They are awesome. Any sports or non-sports needs you have, if it comes to trading cards or collectibles, check them out. They're very, very awesome. I'm not sponsored by them by any means. They're just who I found online. They're from my hometown of Pittsburgh, and they're just really awesome. They've been really great to us. And we're really cool to shift some credit we had at the store to these boxes so I could check them out because I thought these were going to come out the same day as the Halo cards. And as much as I like this movie, I was more looking forward to the Halo cards. Uh, so, um, you know, in a way, it's good that those cards got pushed back so I can focus on those when they come out probably in late April or May. Uh, maybe if they come out closer to our birthday in May, that'd be great. We'll see what happens. But for now, at least we got these three boxes. We opened two already. Check those out if you haven't and come back here and check out this episode as we go through our third and final box, at least right now. Uh, like I said, hopefully we'll have some more money in the future to where we could buy more of these. But uh, let me make sure I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there we go. 15 packs, six cards per pack. You get a pretty good amount of hits. I gotta be honest with you. We went through those first two boxes and I was surprised. I mean, like, and I guess I was the first time we saw, went through the Moon Knight cards too. But there was like, you know, the Moon Knight cards had Fist of Vengeance, Chambers of the Gods, almost in every other pack. So that's kind of what it is here. You get a, a hit at least in every pack. And they're pretty neat. They range, you know, from like stuff that I personally find interesting and some stuff that I'm like, eh, if someone's trying to complete this insert set, they can, I'll trade for sure. I like the Universe cards. Those are amazing. And I'd like to see more of the Dimension cards because right now we got one with um, Captain Marvel and I'd like to see some other ones, especially with Black Bolt, like with him screaming or something, that would look really cool. I love the character Black Bolt. So uh, I'm glad he cameoed in this uh, in this film, even though he got punked pretty pretty badly. I know Wanda's powerful, but man, he got taken out way too easily. Uh, so here we go. It's a throne. These are our base cards. We got Wong as an ensemble. Every pack will have an ensemble card. And the last card in every pack will be one of these, which is a red parallel. So Doctor Strange versus Master Mordo. I think that's a card we don't have. So I'll put that aside and make sure. Because we're going to try to build a base set out of this. Even if we have some that are in red parallels or other parallels, we don't really care that much about having it all uniform. We just want every card in the base set, um, no matter what the variant is. So, so far I think we're doing pretty good on that. Because I think this is a maybe a 90 or 100 cards. I don't know for sure. I'll have the number go up right there. Uh, I could be wrong. could be less. It might even be 70 or 80 cards. Um, so I'll have the number go up. Um, all right. Only Steven's ever opened it. I like that scene where it turned out to be his watch. That was the key. That was really cool. All right. So our first hit of the box. Boom. Oh, we got the statue of Dr. Strange. Very awesome. DH12 from eight, uh, World 838. I do not like that in this movie they call the MCU universe 616 because technically it can't be. 616 is obviously the comic book universe, even though Marvel doesn't like to always refer to it as that. So it, it's it's more of a fan thing, I guess. Um, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me which what you call it. I just I always call it the main Marvel universe, and I always think the comic book is the original, and everything else is part of the multiverse. Anything outside of the main continuity, even though they reboot stuff all the time, it's still, to me, main continuity. So, all right. So we're still going here. We got... Doctor Strange vs. Mordo. Oh, okay. We got it in the a base this time, so that's good. Oh, hey, there we go. We got Rintra finally as the base card. That means we don't have to put the, the cool parallel numbered card in the binder that we have. But yeah, really cool. Um, if I get another one of those, maybe I'll give it to my friend Nate. He was very excited to see that that character was going to be in the movie. And then we saw the movie and he was like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which is funny because I saw the movie with Nate. That's when I first told him about our diagnosis. He's our best friend, and it took me months to kind of open up to him about it. And uh, then we saw the movie, and then in the movie, I actually switched, and Blue came out and watched a chunk of the movie, and then we actually switched back, and I got to see the ending of the film, and I was completely lost. <laughs> so I had to wait for, like, I could have saw it again in the theater, but I didn't want to risk that happening again, so I didn't want to spend the money and have that happen again. So uh, so what I ended up doing was just waiting for it to come out on uh, Disney+, Plus and, and I just, I think it came out to rental, and I rented it for, for $20, and I was like, all right, so if we switch, I got this rental for 48 hours. But I watched it, and then when it came out on Disney+, Plus, I watched it a couple more times. So, um, Oh, and then we got a Witchy Woman hit. Perfect. 
Awesome. And I don't think we're going to get any duplicates. Oh, we got the red. Wow, we might build a rainbow of this guy. Holy cow. No, but if I have an extra one, i got to give it to my friend Nate for sure, if he wants it. Um, Witchy Woman number 15. There might be too many of these. Witchy Woman's and Is There a Doctor in the House? They might have done too many. Like, to, to get up to 15, I, I don't know. But I guess so did Chamber of the Gods and some of the other cards got up to that mount. And Fist of Vengeance, I think, was 20. So, eh, what do I know? What, do, what am I talking about? Um, more of Wanda is not a bad thing. So I don't know why I'm complaining. But this is cool. I don't know if we'll get a lot of duplicates because considering we're getting alphas in each box with the number cards, um, yeah, I'm going to say that, you know, chances are we're not, we're not going to get a lot of duplicates when it comes to the inserts, which is awesome. Um, good, good. Sometimes it's good to order, you know, cards when they first come out. Um, all right. So did you blow it with your Christine? The answer is yes, but she's happy. So that's all that matters. Right. Um, Dr. Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch. That's a good shot of him. Actually, that's from when he goes to talk to Wanda and actually he accidentally gives away where America's being held <laughs> and tells Wanda and you reveal that she's a villain. And he's like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah. So. Uh, do I know you? That's a good one. That opening fight with not Shuma Garath. Doctor Strange possesses the Darkhold. And then our red card. We got this. Yeah, you do. Ish. Yeah, you had it, I guess. And then our hit. Oh, we got one of the silvery, shimmery uh, parallels. And we got it of Wong, which is really awesome. E24. So, you know, look, that's Ensemble 24. That's how high the ensemble cards go, um, I think. Uh, but I think that's card 24 in the set. But that's awesome. Like, we got the, the shimmery version of it. And sometimes those those shimmery ones are in the hit spot. And sometimes they're not. They're crammed in with a numbered card. So if you see it, if you, if you see that shimmery card in the fourth spot, chances are you're going to get an 838 number card right on the other side of it. At least that's been our experience so far. You are now called before the Illuminati. I, that may be a new card, too. We're starting to see cards that we didn't get in the first two boxes. Um, Lashana Lynch is Captain Marvel. Great shot of her as well. That's when they're all dealing with the aftermath of Thanos and they're killing Doctor Strange with Black Bolt's mouth. Um, worried about incursions. Um, oh, another new card. Do not speak to me of sacrifice. And then we have our red card. We have to go now. Perfect. And then our hit for the pack. Dude, yes. Oh, yes. Zombie Doctor Strange. Dead Doctor Strange, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> That's so awesome. He looks great. I love the extra arms. That scene where he absorbs all those dead souls and uses them is, is so rad. <laughs> it's, so, it's so cool. Um, all right, so we're still on the first stack. I can't, I, for some reason, I thought we were halfway through the box. We're only on pack five. I got to speed this up. We're trying to beat the time of our, our second episode. Um, all right, so another ensemble, 838, uh, Steven. Oh, what's back here? Something's back here. Um, hold your breath. That's when they're about to release the flood in the tunnels. I'll give you what you want. Our red hit is this reality collapsed in on itself. Awesome. Kind of a blurry shot. I I, I kind of have a thing against that. Like when they pick some of these shots for the cards, every once in a while in the Moon Knight ones, there's a couple that are bl kind of blurry. And I'm like, why? Like, wh why not wait a couple frames like when you're choosing these cards? Like, it just feels, uh, like why would you have a blurry? Oh, no way. <gasps> we actually got a Doctor Strange that was in a dream. I was wondering, I was like, if we could get a Doctor Strange or a Wanda in this last box, I would love it. And look, it's one of my favorite shots of the movie right before they have the piano and music fight where you see that big rift in the sky. That's, that's awesome. FC 32. Yeah. I'm going to sleeve and top load this one. I really like these. And yeah. Blue. I was asking, I was like, do you want me to save you one of the boxes? You know? And he was like, no, not really. Cause I just threw that top loader right at myself. It got stuck to the other one. So sorry. Um, but, uh, he was like, yeah, no, this is kind of your thing. This in halo. He goes, I, I had my fun in moon Knight, And I think there's a, uh, uh, you know, the Star Wars card game, is he's he's been really into that, too. So he got a few boxes of those that he's kind of messing with. So he's like, yeah, no, man, have your fun with Doctor Strange. I'm like, all right, fair enough. Even though I was like, dude, that was the first movie we saw together in the theater. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but, he's you know, he's like, I'm not sentimental over that. He's like, I woke up in the middle of the movie, and I left before it ended. 
He's like, so it wasn't a good experience for me either. And he goes, and I was sitting next to two people I really didn't know. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of, I was like, okay, yeah, when you put it that way. Um, so we got Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch in the ensemble. Great shot of her. Um, you still didn't get the girl. We showed this one off, I think, before. I'm sorry, Steven. It cannot be you. Red card is going to be only Steven's ever opened it. Yep. And boom. Witchy woman. That's a great one. Just her and her casuals. Awesome. Card number nine. Again, so far, not a single double. Um, which is awesome. That's great. Like it's getting three boxes and getting no inserts doubles. Um, you know what's funny? It probably was like that with Moon Knight in the beginning, too. And I'm I don't know why I'm making a big deal out of it. It probably was like that for Moon Knight. I mean, it was me opening boxes and blue, so it was hard to really keep track of a lot of that stuff uh, and to really gauge it, even though I was the one who edited most of the videos, but it was still kind of hard to kind of gauge it. So who knows? But yeah, I guess in the beginning, why would you get duplicates of inserts? Because, you you know, especially if you order from the same place, chances are there's not a lot of duplicates until you start branching out or ordering from a second case or something like that. So I love you in every universe. Awesome. Good shot of them. I never dream. My One of my personal favorites. You cause an incursion. So there's from the bonus after credit scene at the end with Clea. Very cool. She is uh, rocks the look too. She looks just like Clea. It's fantastic. All right, and our hit. Boom! <gasps> yes, dude! More dead Doctor Strange. Uh, dude, I love it. <laughs> I'm here for this version of the character. Uh, 100%. This is my favorite Doctor Strange. Just this creepy, all the souls reaching over him. Mind, like Venom the Madness. It's funny, it's called Pure Madness. There's a comic book called Venom the Madness drawn by Kelly Jones where... Venom meets these creatures that live in a sewer and they infect his body and uh, and and he ends up growing extra heads and he goes and fights the Juggernaut from the X-Men. And it's really cool looking, uh, just the extra heads and stuff. It's my favorite look on Venom. He's just like this 10 foot tall monster with like 14 heads. So when I saw Doctor Strange show up and he's all those extra arms coming out of him and they act as like wings and stuff, I'm like, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty fire, dude. I love that. It's awesome looking. So... All right, we got an ensemble in the back and in the front. We got an ensemble sandwich here. Doctor Strange. We got the Darkhold exacts a heavy toll. Again, I don't know if I've seen the eye. There's supposed to be variants with an eye in it. They could be just really rare. Um, but I haven't seen one yet. I don't think. If I did, I missed the eye. Whoa, look at that. We got an ensemble in the middle as well of uh, America. And then we got an ensemble in red of the Darkhold castle guard so this was an ensemble pack is our hit an ensemble no it's not that would have been amazing if it was like four uh, there were three out of six cards were an ensemble in this but hey look there's my shot again i couldn't save her that awesome image and it's a freaking alpha it's another alpha we're gonna walk away with eight or nine alphas from these three boxes and i was saying earlier when we opened the first box i'm like i never hit an alpha i would love to hit one and then boom well i would love if one of these packs had like a rolled up $50 million bill in it <laughs> or a winning lottery ticket in it. Uh, that would be awesome too. Um, so yeah, very cool. I'm going to just top load those ones because they're alphas and I'm a fan of, now I'm an alpha collector. <laughs> it's so cool that I got nine of them. Um, all right. So there's something in here. So we got Wanda. Perfect as the ensemble. We got uh, who said they had to be living. That's I love when that because I was sitting there going, what body is he going to possess of his in the in his universe? I'm like, dude, there's a dead version of him in his universe. So he wasn't just dreamwalking. He was like necro dreamwalking. It's <laughs> dude, Doctor Strange. So cool. Uh, he's so cool. Um, I'm not a monster, Stephen. Yeah. Just had monsterish behavior. Son mis madres. And we got it's a throne. That's cool. I don't I don't know if we got that card either. So having it in the red is good. It means we can have a chance of completing our our set. And then behind it we have <gasps> whoa! What is this? And there's little flex on it. Okay, good. We can clean those off. Sorcerer Supremes Haley Atwell as Captain Carter. SS twenty six. That's so cool. All right, we're definitely going to 
sleeve and top load that one. That is for sure. Um, all right. Sweet. That's fantastic. <coughs> yeah, that is awesome. Look at that. And she is awesome. Stunning, beautiful. Uh, love her as the character. And like I said, I liked her in What If. To see her in live action was cool. Um, and she she put up a little bit of a fight. But man, getting cut in half by your own shield, that is a, man, is that a way to go. Um, yeah, Sam Raimi and, and everyone, def they definitely didn't pull their punches on killing the Illuminati. <laughs> but I don't know how many odds that is. So I'll put a, you know, that number up on screen. Hopefully I did already when I pulled it. But yeah, I'm sure that's, that's going to be like our dimensions hit of the box. So chances are probably no autographs now because I imagine that is a special hit because we haven't hit any of those before. So that's probably our big hit of the box. Um, all right. So we got that. We got, uh, the, that was the ribbon creature and ensemble. Give me your Christine. I would never hurt you. It's Wanda. And then, hey, we got, yes. All right. So if we we're going to get another one of these, I know we're going to get probably one more at least. Um, but we got one with dead Dr. Strange on it. So we're collecting a lot of dead Dr. Strange in these three boxes, which I'm here. I'm, I'm here for that for sure. That's what I want to happen. I want more dead Dr. Stranges. That was such a cool moment in the movie, I felt. All right. So one, two, three, four. This is the last stack. So let's see if we can do it in faster time than we did the second box. I don't know. We're cutting it close. Um, all right. Dark Hold Creature, Castle Guard. Boom, Ensemble. The This reality collapse in on itself. Yeah, that image doesn't look too, too blurry, actually, now that I look at it. Maybe it's just him, his head movement just kind of caught my eye. Um, you cause an incursion, Clea. Oh, yes, finally, another shiny one. Um, oh, and then we got our hit behind it, so our other alpha, probably. And it will be the Scarlet Witch. I love that. That's a great shot, too. And our red. Um, so, yeah, the, the dream walk. And then what is our... Oh, with Mordo and America and Strange talking. A desecration of reality itself. Dream walking. One of 838. That's so wild that this whole case is just full of alphas. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, Blue. Yeah, he's... I'm sure. Uh, no, I don't hear him, actually, but... I'm sure if he's if he's aware of what I'm doing, he will scream like, what are you doing? Do him the other way because he likes to, I don't know, showcase him a certain way. So I let him do his thing. I just follow the rules, man. That's what I'm here for. Um, and then, yeah, let's sleeve this. So we should get at least one more of these shiny cards variants um, in these last four packs and probably maybe another witchy or a doctor one. Um, and another one of those, uh, American ally, America's allies ones too. So that will probably finish up this box. So yeah, thank you. Let me know in the comments what you think of these cards. Um, I think they look great. I actually like the borders on them and they have like those weird, you know, not Nokian, but just like the weird symbols of, uh, the spells and stuff from Cthon and from like, you know, Dr. Strange's magic stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's our other alpha and our shiny card. Trust your power. And then we go, whoa, look at that red of Scarlet Witch. That's awesome. Cool. And yes, we'll do a, a box recap at the end too. But, oh, that's a great shot, actually. The Space Between Universes, the Alpha, <laughs> one of 838. I imagine whoever ordered the other nine boxes from Steel City, I imagine that they are opening Alphas right now too and probably freaking out, going like, oh, holy cow. We got all the alphas in one box. Um, so yeah, nine alphas we hit out of three boxes. That's uh, Talk about someone who's complaining earlier that he didn't get any alphas in any of the Moon Knight boxes. Man, did Upper Deck make up, uh, make up for that with me <laughs> in this one. So yeah, that's all right. Let's go. We got three more packs. All right. We got Miss Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda, 838. Before she gets possessed, or maybe after, no, not after, because she's not wounded. So, all right, and we got, I warned you, we need your help. You couldn't portal us up there, and our red of you still didn't get the girl. So let's see what this hit is. <gasps> A universe, yes, mechanized world. 
Oh, great. In their brief voyage across the multiverse, Doctor Strange and America Chavez come across a mechanized world. In this universe, a dark atmosphere shrouds a city, rife with neon signs. One particular building emits a holographic ring around it. Ooh, you think it could be 2099? Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a world that's like everyone's an Ultron or something. Um, but yeah, the Savage Land card is the one I really want to find of this. Uh, because I I would love to see something with Savage. I actually came up with an idea uh, for a comic book called The Savage Avengers. I know there's been that comic before, but my Savage Avengers team operate out of the Savage Land, and it was going to have Kazar in it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, so I, I'm interested in seeing uh, a Savage Land, the universe card. But that's cool. Out of three boxes, we got two universe cards. I'm for all for that, man. That's uh, more than I thought I was going to get, for sure. Um, all right, Master Mordo. We got thrown into the multiverse. Captain Marvel vs. Scarlet Witch. I shall miss you, my friend. And another dead doctor. And then we got I'm sorry, Steven in the red. Oh, dude, another dead. I think we got most of the dead doctor inserts, like the, the basic ones, in uh in this in these three boxes, which is man, I these this couldn't have gone better. Yeah, an autograph is always cool, but I wasn't really buying these to autograph hunt. I just figured if I got one, especially a book of Ashanti one. I would have loved that, but for me, I mean, like, just getting a base set and getting all these zombie ones is an added bonus and two universe cards. Big bonus. Um, all right, so we got the Ultron bot, last pack. Let's see what we got. I think it's going to be um, maybe another numbered card. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, we can't let it take your power. America Chavez there. I'm glad I fell into your universe. Um, no, that's not shiny, so not a numbered card, probably. Um, all right, then we got It Cannot Be You in red. And let's, is this our pure madness, maybe? Ooh, no, it's one of the 199s. Yeah, because we got a pure madness earlier, I think. 185 out of 199. This is one of the blue, or cyan, maybe, I think is the color. Um, awesome. And yeah, these are like one in every, one and 199. So just a regular base card, just with, you know, a different border and the blue trim around it as well. All the writing. So let's do a quick recap. We got that 199 card right there. Fantastic. We got another Doctor, a dead one. <laughs> we got another Universe card, amazing. We got one, two, and three shiny cards. Where's the third one? It's somewhere around here. Here it is. Boom. So it looks like this is every box, you get three of those. Every box, you get at least two Doctors. Every box, you get, oh, we got three Doctors, and that's right, two of them were the dead one. Awesome. So two or three doctors in every box. Two or three witchy womans in every box. Looks like we only got one this time of this. And the other boxes we got two. So um, so yeah, okay. I'm I'm for that though. Those aren't my favorite, but I like that we got the one we did get was the dead Doctor Strange. Um, all right, so Alpha Alpha are three alphas. Really cool. I love that we got nine alphas today. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, we got Captain Carter. So we got two of the mem the two members, her and this, and we got the dimensions of Captain Marvel. Those are the two that lasted the longest against Wanda. So pretty coincidental there. That's kind of funny. But I, I love uh, Haley Atwell. She's awesome. So I'm cool. It's so cool to get a card of hers. That's an insert card. And I like the design of that. That's really, really neat. Really cool looking. It's kind of an acetate card in and of itself. But SS26. So we got one of those. We got the zombie dead uh dr strange pure madness and we got our that wasn't a dream with the other world dr strange the one with the third eye so very very cool i'm very happy with what we got in these three boxes i'll put them together see if we end up getting a base set of some you know like the ma major base set i think there's like 70 or 80 cards in the base set but then there's also like 10 additional cards that go up to like card 90 that are like inserts in a way so you know it's it's i would just say the the main 70 or 80 is the base set. So I'm going to try to complete one of those and then I'll sleeve a lot of these and put them in a binder and we'll do a review of these maybe in an upcoming episode after the Moon Knight one goes up because I don't want to wait any longer. I want to get that review up too. So thanks so much for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know what you think of this movie and the cards down in the comments and we'll keep talking down there. See you in the future. Peace.